हेलो एवरीवन आई एम डॉक्टर संतोष मोहनवर अ कंसल्टिंग होम्योपैथ एंड फाउंडर ऑफ माइजमा होम्यो क्लिनिक एंड ऑल्सो द फाउंडर ऑफ जेन्यून प्रैक्टिकल होम्योपैथी फोरम इन विच वी आर क्रिएटेड प्रैक्टिकल एजुकेशनल कोर्सेस फॉर होम्योपैथिक डॉक्टर्स एंड स्टूडेंट्स सो द टूडेज टॉपिक इज अबाउट मोड्स ऑफ ट्रीटमेंट do you know how cure takes place or how we manage the cases in not only in the homeopathy but also in the every streams and systems of medicine most of us are not aware about modes of treatment so usually there are two types of modes of treatment uh, that is one is a palliative mode of treatment so palliative treatment means what uh it is just a palliation of any of the symptom uh by different means usually the this method is adopted by allopathy and in certain extent by ayurveda and many more systems might uh, use this kind of mode of treatment but in this way of treatment there is a fast results but at the cost of various side effects and compromising of your immunity so that causes a dangerous side effects hazardous side effects to you and this mode of treatment may not give a permanent result or it is just a temporary palliation of symptoms so the recurrence is 99% chances are there but there is another mode of treatment that is a cure but in spite of all uh energy and money is expended on the palliative mode of treatment and unfortunately after doing all these things we are not able to succeed to manage so many illnesses day by day so many illnesses mostly the acute uh, and chronic illnesses are worsening and worsening so what actually the cure means so before that in palliation mode so which kinds of mode are applied by different streams of medicine so simply the surgical mode of treatment is always the palliative second one is the large doses of medicine like painkillers and some antibiotics they also act as a suppressants and counseling also may act as a suppressant in uh, psychiatric illnesses but when we thought about cure so it is adopted and claimed by homeopathy uh, first time dr samuel hanneman claimed about it that is after application of homeopathic remedies they seems there is a cure but what actually the cure means or what actually the curative mode of treatment means curative treatment means what there is a less chances of recurrence or almost none without getting any kind of side effects without compromising of your immunity so this is the way of cure and it it is adopted by homeopathy and claim by homeopaths but do you know that how cure takes place or what actually the cure means so do you know the law of hormesis so what hormesis says about uh, the dosing system so why homeopathy claims about a cure usually the hormesis theory claims that if we use any medicine in a very large doses it kills the organism and if we use in a physiological doses it palliates the condition of any disease and in low doses it stimulates the system so that's why master hanneman or homeopaths claims about that uh, homeopathy cures the diseases because these people use the homeopathic medicine in a very very diluted and low dose so for that you must know about that what happens after homeopathic remedy prescribed to the patient what happens there so how homeopath 
know about how their remedy is acting on the patient. So there are four things that we witnessed usually after homeopathic treatment. First reaction of the patient as soon as the remedy get acted on anyone. So patient is saying about that he is feeling well without changing in any alteration in the his or her state of health. The feeling of well-being we simply uh, say like that. So second uh, process uh, is started in his body is a elimination process. So simply we call it as a detoxification. So there is an elimination of toxins are getting started from the body after homeopathic medication by different means. There are different different modes of elimination. Common modes we know that there is a defecation, the urine, then sweating and sometimes uh, the body discharges get eliminated through either vagina or the penis or the eyes or nose and sometimes in the form of eruptions on the surface of skin. So this is the next change that mostly witnessed by a homeopath after homeopathic remedy. So third important change they witnessed in the while during the homeopathic treatment is absorption. What actually the absorption or we simply call it as a assimilation. So what it means if patient is eating a food of good quality but in spite of eating there is no absorption of uh, nutrients from his gut so that's why he or she is feeling not well or not feeling energetic. But after homeopathic medication patient is feeling good after eating because he or she feeling well because all whatever he is uh, eating or consuming so all nutrients are absorbed in body very properly so Krebs cycle is activated very properly that's why patient is feeling well uh, energetic that is the third important uh, reaction is witnessed by uh, homeopaths and lastly the alteration in the state of health what actually it means there is a slow very steadily alteration in the state of health actually it means a restoration of his physiology or the physiological functions that are previously altered because of due to any disease. So they are slowly getting reversed back and by this way homeopathic remedy acts on the patients and get cure the condition. So without costing your immunity without side effects these things happen in the homeopathy. But homeopaths are not aware about that this type of changes after prescribing. They just simply copying uh, the allopathy, uh, allopathy like cures either they are you think about that palliation after homeopathic prescriptions and they get disturbed by their choice of remedy. But friends don't worry about that observe these things in your patient and slowly you will witness the miracles uh, in the life of patient. And you can use this type of uh, teachings of Master Samuel Hanneman in your practice. Thank you.